Hello everybody, welcome to my kitchen again. It is Leah Limro, your Pamper Chef Lady here, and I am whipping up a brand new treat with some of our new products, but this is brand new as well. It is the Dolce de Leche uh, cake mix from Pamper Chef. And I don't know if you've ever tried to make this before, but it normally takes a long time, like a couple hours to make, as well as it's very hard to find the mix and things like that and very expensive. But we made it easy with Pampered Chef. All you actually add in here is two eggs. You add in six tablespoons of unsalted butter, kind of uh, in the little pats. You add in two tablespoons of vegetable oil and two thirds of a cup of milk. And then this seasoning mix, and then we are going to mix it up because it says beat on low speed for about a minute, and then we will scra scrape the batter and pour into our pans. Now, I'm gonna be using our Flex Plus awesome system. It is three power tools in one. This Flex Plus is, uh, the part of it is the hand mixer, obviously, but it also has a food processor adjustment, and it also has an immersion blender adjustment with two battery packs for us to use. And um, it also comes with, uh, what do you call these, whippers? Um, Whisks. Whisk type things. This is more for batters. This is more for like meringue and whipped cream. And then I am going to show you the pans that we're gonna be using here. So this pan is our new pan here. This cake pan comes in our blue. It comes with both of these two pans. And it does very fun trick stuff, you guys. So you have an insert like this. So you can make the inserts to where you can fill with candy. So basically, once we pour this batter, I would put two cups of batter in here and then the rest in here, and I can leave it like that. And when they cool, you're gonna stack the cakes and then decorate it and fill with fruits and, and juicy stuff or sprinkles or candies. We're gonna be filling this one with caramel. Um, you can also actually do, uh, do it with this insert. And this insert means you fill the center, kind of like those surprise cakes for everybody doing the uh, gender reveals and things like that. But we are just going to use this one because we're going to fill it with caramel and then top it with some I just regular icing and everything else. And I did have to mention another brand new teal pan of ours. This is our new cake pan that actually comes with a lid. It is our, I think it's 9 by 13, but it's our 9 by 13. You can actually do this Dolce de Leche cake right in here and then just pour the caramel over top of it. Super yummy. So we're gonna make some caramel sauce in a minute here too. But for now, I've got all of this set to go and I am going to hope that my Flex Plus is working and then I've got the battery charged enough. So when you charge the battery, you just come back on here and maybe I've got it on one. There we go. You gotta be smarter than the average bear. Um, and then we do have uh, the, let's see. It helps if I know how to use it. So this is at a low speed, and I'm just going to keep it going. There we go, I'm gonna do it at a lower speed until I can get it all blended. I'm just right now blending up the butter for a second, and then I'm gonna add the Dolce de Leche cake. Okay, now I'm going to add the Dolce de Leche cake mix in, and I'm just trying not to drop this. Technically, I'm supposed to take the battery off, but since I'm just dumping the cake mix in. All right. I've got my other little ones singing in the background. I know that y'all been there before. So it's got this little safety feature here. So you're gonna have to use two hands to get it going. So this hand mixer is not awkward. It looks awkward. It's not super heavy. It's uh, amazing. Plus you get the second battery. So if we need a second battery, if, uh, you can have it. Blending very well together. This is our uh, nice mixing bowl. You want to use a plastic mixing bowl when you're using a hand mixer, not a glass bowl, because you can nick the glass into your food or break the glass. It's also not great on your uh, wrist. All right, well, I'm gonna see you back. I'm gonna put two cups in here. I'm gonna put the rest in here. I'm gonna bake it, and then I'm gonna come right back to you to show you the next step. Hey, guys. So the cake's out of the oven. It's been cooling. 
I did go ahead and make some fresh homemade caramel sauce in our cooking blender. I can't talk today. Cooking blender. So it was one cup of brown sugar, half a cup of heavy whipping cream, one teaspoon of vanilla, four tablespoons of unsalted butter or salted butter, depending on what you like. We like salted around here, so I use salted. Um, but I cooked that on our sauce setting and it maybe took 15, 20 minutes to cook up and then I've got it um, in the fridge. One, uh, one of them is pulling off just a little bit. But I wanted to show you that my Carl cooking blender uh, does clean itself. Literally, you don't want to put a lot, but one to two drops is all you need, uh, like Dawn dish soap. And then um, this guy cleans up after itself. So all I have to do is turn it to the um, heated wash cycle right here and it will continue to heat and clean and get all of the yuckiness around the bottom and the blades so that I don't have a whole lot to do. So I'm gonna let that clean while I come over here and show you what we have. So here is our two cakes. I did not even it um, all the way. This one got a little bit overdone, but that's okay. So this is gonna be the top. But what's fun about this cake is you can do so many different ways. So this is the top that comes off. So if I wanted to, I could actually put this on top and then decorate this top with fruits and things like that. Or I can put the caramel in the center and then top with this piece. So I can top it this way or I can top it with this on top. Totally up to you on how you do your cake. I'm gonna grab the caramel sauce right now that I have chilling just a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit runny because it came from our cooking blender. So I'm literally just going to drizzle this around. This is going to be the most delicious cake ever. I'm actually doing a better job than I thought I was going to do. This here is our Lazy Susan. It's also uh, our charcuterie board. So it actually is on lock position right now, but when I go to decorate it, I can unlock it if I want to do cake decorating on it and to swivel it just like the, the fancy bakers do on TV. All right. Don't be so stingy. Fill them up. Okay, so you've got to have room. My husband <laughs> is like crazy. I have our easy accent decorator here, and literally all I'm going to do right now is just trace the edge, and that's because you want enough icing to make the cake stick, and this is not going to be pretty by any means. This is just to make the cake stick together. I may end up having to put more icing in the center for my... So like I said, nobody has to be famous at this. Nobody has to do anything like super big. It would help if I had that pushed down some. Alright, so that does not have to be super fancy. I'm going to put this right on top. Well, I probably should put a little bit on here, right? Don't mind my fingers. We're eating this cake, so we don't care. Alright. Put this right on top now if i was doing a full cake decorating i would actually put the icing all the way around decorate really nice but this being the uh dolce uh cake is really rich already so the caramel and just the touch of icing is going to be enough so i am just going to go right over top and make little dollops like i said i'm not crafty i'm not really great at this so goodness you guys that is the bomb my husband is ruling over there what do you think are you gonna like it it is delicious and then when you cut into it let me go ahead and cut into it so if i'm gonna cut a piece out Thanks for watching.